In today's Leeds news, Leeds links with Buenanote, Glenn Camara move is on, Willie Nyonto's agent speaks, and Leeds move for Lewis O'Brien. Hiya folks, you're here on the 22nd of August. I know I said yesterday there were 10 days left in the transfer window, but I was wrong. There was 11 today. There are 10 days left in the transfer window. So Leeds need to get their skates on and needs to start moving with this. There are signs of a slow creaking forward of momentum in the transfer window. So let's hope that that... Uh, Shows true in the next couple of days. There's a little bit floating around. We'll get into it in a sec. But just to let everyone know who's been asking about the podcast stuff. So from this point on going forward, we will be recording the podcast on a Thursday and making it available to members on a Thursday evening. It will be available to everybody else on the channel on a Friday, which is a day ahead of normal, which is usually a Saturday. Videos just on Saturday don't perform when matches are on. So move it to a Friday instead to give people something to look at said if there's a game on a Friday we may shift it to a Saturday then but we'll I'll let you know about that as and when it happens right let's get into this and start off I'm gonna start off with the links around uh, Buena Notte and I, what I will say about this is there's no guarantee that this is legitimate there's no real guarantee that this is an actual story there's bits of it floating around from different places a lot of it seems to be picked up from one person and ran with but what I'll do is I'll go through it in a breakdown of what's happened over the last couple of days and also um, some comments that the Zerbi has made about the player as well to kind of put some context around this as well. So we'll start off with this. And last night it came out from a guy by the name of Victor Bilsky, uh, who is a journalist based out of Rosario in Argentina, talking about Facundo Buenanote to Leeds. Um, it's nice to see a kid from Bra Rosario in, in Argentina being linked with a move to Leeds. You know, nice things you like to see. But anyway, this is a talented young, young lad. And what they're basically saying is that talks between Brighton and Leeds have been ongoing around the player. Now, the Sussex World released a statement, or not a statement, released an article this morning. What they are saying is that Leeds are closing in on a loan move for Facundo Buenanote. Uh, the 18-year-old joined Brighton last year for £10 million. <clears throat> is very highly rated and very highly thought of by De Zerbi. De Zerbi has said, <clears throat> talking about Mailer on the window, that the player is a player he thinks very highly of. He can add an awful lot of quality to what they have, but if the player wanted to go out on loan to play more, he wouldn't stop him. So there's a possibility there. Should also be pointed out, Brighton have an abundance of talent in attacking areas. If you go through the players they brought in, uh, Joe Pedro coming in, Simon uh, Adingra has come in as well, as Sally Marsh starting the season in incredible form. They're also being rumoured and heavily linked with a move for a number 10. I can't remember the guy's name, but it's been linked this morning. Another, another number 10 possibly coming into Brighton as well. So there could be space there that would allow Buenanote to move on loan. De Zerbi, as I said, did speak about the player and said young players would go out on loan, but did specifically say that if Buenanote wanted to play on loan, he could. So that could be an opportunity there as well. Brighton bubbled this morning on Twitter. They are saying that there's no option to buy in this straight up loan, which I'd fully expect from Brighton, given how they do their business. Straightforward enough one. And then the Yorkshire Evening Post this morning are saying that talks are ongoing between Leeds and Brighton to try and bring in Buena Note. Now, what I will say about that as well is that doesn't come from Graham Smith or Joe Donahue at the Yorkshire Evening Post. It comes from somebody else. Um, and it's not coming from Joe and Graham. It has a little bit less credibility for me. That's that's just personal opinion. But we keep an eye on it. It's something worth looking at. And we'll see what happens over the next couple of days. Uh, speaking of the targets that Leeds have been looking at for quite a while now, Glenn Kamara's poked his head up over the transfer wall to have a little chat with us. And according to the Daily Record last night, Leeds and Rangers may have finally agreed on a fee for the player. Michael Beale finally said this week that the player will leave. There have been talks about talks to other clubs. Leeds have been linked to them for months now at this stage. But what the record is saying is they report that a £5.5 .5 million deal is being agreed between the two clubs. A structure is being discussed. The Scottish Sun, however, are saying that his agents and representatives have spoken with Middlesbrough and Coventry as well. There have been a lot of clubs keeping an eye on Glen Kamara. However, if you go back to the record, what they say is that talks are in an advanced stage with Leeds. There's that term. Talks are in an advanced stage. How often have we heard this? We heard this from the in the nose about Glen Kamara about two months ago. Um, and a, and uh, medicals being booked that never actually happened. So this time around, maybe there's something in this because it's coming from the record. They say that in the last 24 hours, Leeds United have made their move for the player. So we will wait and see. Leeds need to bring a player. There's a rumour floating around Wacko that Leeds will bring in two players before the end of Wednesday. 
we'll have to wait and see about that but there's one uh, moving on let's talk about Willie Nyanto's situation I know we're all getting a bit fed up talking about it at this stage but finally uh, his agent has crawled out from under his rock to um, enlighten us on what the situation is on their side uh, and Claudio Vigarelli was speaking with Radio Sportivo in Italy over the course of the weekend the conversation around the transfer request being handed in 90 minutes before kickoff came up and basically the long and short of this is Vigarelli is claiming that Leeds are making his client's situation complicated complicated is a word you can use there are lots of other words we could use in this situation but complicated is probably the lesser of the evils when it comes to words on this one Figarelli as I said speaking to Radio Sportivo has said that Everton have had four bids rejected for the player the last one being 25 million plus add-ons Leeds want over 30 million for the player and Leeds have taken their steer from the Romeo Lavia situation at Southampton now Nanto did hand in a transfer request and Figarelli has said that Leeds are making the situation complicated for the player they're not happy with this we know that his exact quote is the following the situation is complicated. Leeds are blocking the request that we have in for a move to the Premier League. He says Premier League there, as in there are other clubs in the Premier League interested. There is some interest in Italy in the player as well. Juventus popped up again. Roma were mentioned as a loan move potentially as well, as other clubs are keeping an eye on the player as well. So there is still interest in there. But again, according to everyone that has said everything about this, the player is not for sale according to Leeds. Now, I'm sure if Everton come in with a £30 million bid, Leeds will accept that Everton are expected to come back in with a fifth and final offer for the player. We should either see this saga come to an end with Everton or drag out until the end of deadline day with other clubs. Uh, it should also be said yesterday, Leeds United released a statement citing that a racist comment had been made towards Willie Nanto on social media. They have passed that on to the police and it is being investigated by the authorities around this. It is a criminal offence, don't forget that as well. Um, as well as just having no place in sport. Whatever you think about Willie Nanto's situation, doesn't matter. Whatever way you feel about him, there is no need at all to get involved in racial slurs or racist remarks towards a player. It's yeah. just uncalled for, shouldn't be happening and shouldn't be around football anymore at this stage. Like I said yesterday, about other stuff, it's a lack of education and just a, a crazy. You think about the players that have played for Leeds, um, you know, over the years, black players that have played for Leeds over the years and what they've given to Leeds as well. So to, for people to think that it's okay in this day and age to start directing racist remarks towards a player, for me, it's completely unacceptable. There are so much other things you could say about this situation without resorting to racism. So um, the person that is involved in this will be found that there's no doubt about that and the uh, situation for them is, is possible criminal uh, situation there. Don't forget that the man that abused, racially abused Saka after the World Cup was also arrested and did some time in prison as well. So it's a serious situation. It shouldn't be done from a moral standpoint. It shouldn't be done at all. But, you know, from a pure blind stupidity point of view, what do you do? You know. Anyway, uh, move on to the last story today. And this is just broke as we were starting to record this. And according to Alan Nixon, Leeds could be about to make a move for Nottingham Forest midfielder Lewis O'Brien. John Joe Shelby was, was linked yesterday. Sergeant at Norwich was linked yesterday. This kind of happened when Joe Rodon, Rodon signed for Leeds as well. A couple of players from other clubs started being linked in a position similar to that. And then Rodon was done. Uh, on this one as well, there's some noise about it, not an awful lot. Nixon states that their Leeds could get a permanent move done for Lewis O'Brien if they're willing to pay a £10 million fee up front for the player. There is also uh, an option, according to Nixon, of a loan for a season with an option to buy or an obligation to buy should Leeds get promoted to the Premier League. But that's not guaranteed yet. This is It's an exclusive from Alan Nixon. It's very early on. And we'll have to see if that turns out to be anything. Nixon would have a fairly good track record on stuff as well, so that should be pointed out. Um, Lewis O'Brien would be a fantastic signing for Leeds in the Championship and into the Premier League. He's a good midfielder and would add a lot of quality in that midfield area and would suit that double pivot we're talking about perfectly. So maybe Glenn Kamara's options, maybe he's just, you know, picking up that midfield option there. They're going to need a defensive midfield option for when Ampadu is being rested or rotated or injured. They're going to need a second double pivot option for Archie Gray, who can't play. 46 games in a season so that would be needed as well so could be a really good one to get it's a it's an interesting one that one I think might develop more it seems like the right kind of signing he fits the age demographic that Leeds are looking for where Brennan not did not so much he's very young Leeds have brought in a lot of experienced players even the likes of uh, Ampadu coming in he's been around an awful lot he's played a lot of different leagues and played in first teams as well you look at Joe Rodon he's what 24 now so he's not a kid anymore either so Leeds don't tend to go for these younger players they tend to go for the older the older players at this moment in time so um, 
older players, you know what I mean? Over 22 years of age, essentially. <laughs> a bit more experience going around. Um, so O'Brien will be an exciting one to keep an eye on. And as I said, Wacko are saying Leeds could bring in two two signings before the end of Wednesday. And they need to. They really, really need to. Leeds need to get one or two in this week and then look at getting in three or four next week If in an ideal situation. I don't think they will. I think Leeds need about seven players, but I think they'll probably bring in about three or four. And I think that'll be the limit of it, but there could be, um, it could be a busy one. Leaning on Daniel Farkas comments of saving the best to last, so... Let's see what happens as we get closer to the window. This could be, uh, I said on Joe show yesterday, if Leeds are playing prime money ball here and they're waiting for the best opportunities to move and when, when's the best time to pull a lever to get a deal done, they've obviously been bitten by the leaks of Max Ahrens and that's affected them as well. So there's stuff around that as well. So Leeds may be waiting for the last possible minute. It's a gamble. If it pays off and it works, it's a hugely successful move, which will help the squad and, and we'll all be very, very happy with it. A very busy deadline day for those who like deadline day. If it doesn't pay off, they run out of time, the clock ticks over, midnight hip happens and it doesn't work and it's a disaster but it can still go both ways and we should still hold out. If you believe Daniel Farke, I'll leave you with this, if you believe Daniel Farke, go back and listen to every interview he said. He's told us exactly what's going to happen every single stage of the way and he hasn't lied to us yet so if you believe Daniel Farke, believe what he's saying about transfer as well and that's the only thing that I'm hanging on to in terms of positivity for this going forward and we'll see where we are come the end of the window folks that's going to be it for me today massive thanks as always for supporting the channel like I think we're 150 off um, 15,000 which is madness so thanks again for everyone who's subscribing and liking the videos I really really appreciate it I will be back tomorrow with more Leeds news and hopefully some more detail on the uh, emerging stories today of the transfers have a great day I'll see you tomorrow bye